Hi, welcome back to my stovetop. The reload bench is still out of commission for doing videos. Hopefully the noise from the rain and the highway aren't coming through too bad this morning. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a dual review today. So first I'll be reviewing Brownell's Moulin Cafe. This is uh, one of the blends that's available that they've have, they have made for them by Black Rifle Coffee. The other one being the Retro Joe, which I've done a review on. If I can get this in frame. Uh, so you can buy uh, that coffee at their store off of Interstate 80 in Grinnell, Iowa. You can buy it online at their website or you can order it off of Amazon.com. If you order off of Amazon, uh, I'd like to suggest that you use a Gun Channels members affiliate link or that you go through Amazon Smile and support any organization that, that you feel you would like to support. In my case, when I use Amazon Smile, I support the Michigan Coalition for Responsible Gun Owners. They've done a lot of good work in this state regarding getting us our rights back. So in addition to doing the coffee review, if you thought I was done with Tasty Cake reviews, you're wrong. In the past, I've, I've done uh, Honey Bun reviews and things like that. And uh, since I was in Pennsylvania, yesterday at the 2A rally in Harrisburg, I decided I would stop and get some Tasty Cakes. So I haven't tried these out before. This is the Tasty Cake Cream Filled Dreamies. It looks like a Hostess Twinkie. So I'm going to try it out and uh, see how it is. So first we'll go ahead with the coffee from Brownells. Yeah, it tastes like coffee. It's uh, right in the, the middle on their roast scale. Yeah, you can see I still have the price tag on. I bought this at their store a little bit more than a month ago, and it's uh, 12 bucks for a bag at, if you buy it in store. So the roast scale is right in the middle there. So I guess that's a medium roast, whereas uh, the roast scale here for the... Um, the Retro Joe, it's a light roast. So, and uh, this this did taste a little little bit light. This does taste a little bit stronger, but if you like really strong coffee, um, I'm not sure. Uh, otherwise, though, it's really good. And unfortunately, with some of my coffee reviews, this is what you get. Yeah, it tastes like coffee. So, it's not bad. I'm going to try it later with some cream, but... Why don't I go ahead and open up one of these and see if the taste of this brings out the flavor in the coffee. So we'll go ahead and do an unboxing right here. So I mean, if that doesn't look like a Twinkie, I don't know what does. Let's go ahead and open this up. You know, I'm, I'm eating a lot more sweets doing these videos. This is, this is definitely not like me. So I'll go ahead and uh, try it out here. It's not, it's not too moist, it's not too dry, it's not too bad. Let's try some of this cream filling. Yeah, the, the cream filling is really good. Um, it's it's a like a confectionery sugar type cream filling. It's not a banana cream or anything like that. Yeah, that makes the coffee taste better. So I guess that's what I needed. All right, I'm gonna finish this and um, yeah, that's the review. So. Um, Tasty Cake Dreamies and Brownells Mulan Cafe. Thanks for watching. I forgot. I said I was going to try it with some cream. So put the old half and half from Meyer in there. Yeah, yeah. It's um, a little bit. a little bit better that way for me at least but um it's good coffee and um 
if you happen to be in Pennsylvania or in parts of uh, northern or eastern Ohio or wherever else they sell them because they don't sell them here in Michigan, I recommend picking up uh, products from Tasty Cake. And if you want to try out the uh, Black Rifles Coffee from Brownells, they've got two blends available for you. So once again, thank you for watching.